Hey, what's up guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode. And today we are kicking off the Champions League. It is about time that we got back into the competition. I really, really miss it as an Arsenal fan in real life. I'm really hoping we'll be able to do what I did last season in career mode in real life. And that is qualify for the Champions League once again. Whether it's top four in the Premier League or winning the Europa League, which I don't know, maybe, just maybe. But either way... We are going to be starting off our group stages today. We have Dortmund, Shakhtar Donetsk and FC Basel in our group. And we are playing against Basel in the first game. And hopefully we'll kick off our Champions League seasonal campaign with a win. I mean, it's not the hardest group ever. I'm a little bit cautious about Dortmund. They could be very difficult to beat. But let's be honest, we really should be winning this group. We probably are the favourites on paper. But either way, we're going to start off today against Basel. It's our first game. We really do want to start off strongly. Now, what I have decided to do this season when it comes to the FA Cup and the League Cup, we will be shifting around the team a lot, bringing in reserve players, but also against the uh, the lower tier sides like Basel, for example. I kind of want to use some of the youngsters as well, just because I don't really need to use my main full strength squad every single Champions League game. It gives them a rest for the Premier League and things like that. So we're just going to rotate the squad around quite a lot this season. And uh, we're going to start that today. So I think I'm going to bring in Nelson, for example, and maybe Maitland-Niles, players like that. And here we are, guys, the moment we've been waiting for. Those shirts look so weird with the names underneath the numbers. Is that just me? That does not look right. But either way, We've got the official Champions League graphics, of course, and we've got the atmosphere in the background, the Champions League song. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for for this series. The Europa League is great and all, but come on. This is what it's about. This is the competition we need to win in this series. More than anything else, we want to be European champions. We have Aaron Ramsey in the lineup today, captaining the side. But first of all, let's take a look at the Basel team. I know I'm going to recognise a couple of them. We have Xhaka's brother, Toulon. Toulon Xhaka, number 34. And there is their substitutes. But they are going with a 4-2-3-1. They've lost a few good players over the years, haven't they? But still, a jetty up top could be dangerous. Uh, Stocker behind him, I know, is a decent player. But let's be fair. When you take a look at my side, you're looking at a complete difference. Even with some of my lesser popular players, I guess. You know, I'm not going with my strongest team today. Look at that bench. Aubameyang up top with Nelson on the left, Dembele on the right, Maitland-Niles comes in, Xhaka, Ramsey, Visor at the right side there. We've got quite a few players coming in that don't play week in, week out, but still it's it's tremendously stronger than the, uh, what the hell was that pass? Much, much stronger than the Basel side. By the way, Nelson on the left, you're probably wondering why, seeing as he's mainly a right winger. In this game, he's only a right winger, he doesn't play on the left, but... I disagree. I think he could be really good on the left side because he's right-footed. You just cut in on that right foot. You know, I'm obsessed with doing that with my wingers. It might work really well with him. Here's Maitland-Niles. We'll give that to Kolasinac. Then through for Nelson. Now this is where he can do some damage. Running into the box. And a fake shot inside. Now hits it. Oh, he's hit the post! Or was it the bar? I couldn't tell. Oh, and I couldn't keep it in. Visor's knocked it out for a throw. What a start that could have been for Nelson. Well done, Ramsey. Give it back to him. Good play, this. He's in. Strikes it. Oh, Aaron Ramsey. That's why I've kept him. He's a goal-scoring midfielder. He's in for Draxler today. And he's done very well to get on the score sheet. He made this move. He won it back there in midfield. He's made the run forward. Great finish. That's our first goal in the Champions League. Scored by Ramsey. 1-0. 25 minutes in. I will take it. Good start. Yes, Ramsey. He's done very well again there. Give it back. Over the top for Maitland-Niles. Look at that. Brilliant pass from Ramsey. He's playing so well at the moment. It's gone a bit wide though. Still got this. Oi! Come on! He's tripped me. Into injury time already here. This first half has gone so quickly. I can see Aubameyang making a run. But we're going to go with Kolasinac. Back post is Dembele. It's a decent cross. But unfortunately too close to the keeper. There is the end of the first half. Let's get in the second half. Try and get that second goal. But most of all... I want a clean sheet today. I haven't had a clean sheet in ages. I'm trying to get Dembele more involved in this game. He's not really had anything to do, but here's Aubameyang. Dembele could have made a run there, but Visor's done it. We're going to have to pass it inside, I think. Through for Aubameyang. Play it inside for Dembele. Oh, just couldn't get the pass through the defence there. But that second goal is coming. 
He's going to cross it. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, Leno. That's worth a goal. That kind of save is worth a goal. Absolutely brilliant. And I've just passed it straight back to them. Well done, Xhaka. Basel are playing some really good football in this second half. I'm actually really struggling. There's another cross coming in. Oh, God. Not well defended at all. We're going to concede a corner. They're making a change. I think I should probably make a change soon as well. But the cross comes in. Cleared out. No. Okay. Stevens. Is that the Southampton defender? What a signing. If so, imagine that. <laughs> it's not something you'd expect to see, that's for sure. But he's gone ahead and a bullet of a header from his forehead right into the bottom right corner. Nothing I can do about that. And they're back in the game with 17 minutes left. Leno made an absolute worldie of a save before but couldn't get close to this one. Let's see the replay here. It's a great cross. Look at that. Absolute bullet. Nothing I can do about that. Which Stevens is it? Dale Stevens. I don't think that's the Southampton player I'm thinking of. But I'm pretty sure that's a guy from an English club that's gone to FC Basel. Which is a bit of a weird one. I've brought on Iwobi, Ozil, Lacazette. You know, three very attack-minded players. Here's Ozil right away. We'll give that to Visor. Get a cross in. Oh, what a ball. No way has he saved that. Oh my god. Lacazette, his first touch, I think. Almost scored. Ramsey into Dembele. Try and get inside here. I can't get through the defence with Dembele today. He's been so quiet. I just can't do anything. If I can win the ball back, maybe I can get one more attack out of this, but it's not looking likely. Basel quite happy just to hit that down the down the field a little bit. But there we go. Not the greatest result. We should have won this game comfortably. The amount of chances I've had to win this. But instead, we finish with a draw, which isn't awful. Going away from home in the Champions League is never easy. We'll take the point for now, but hopefully in the next game, we'll pick up all three. Moving on into our next game now, though, we have Bournemouth back in the Premier League at home. Gnabry starting with Aubameyang up front, Dembele on the right, Awa, Torreira and Draxler in midfield. And then it's going to be Mendy, Kimpembe, Mukiele, Bellerin and Leno in goal. Let's hope for a better result here. We just need to... Be a little bit more clinical, I feel like. Torreira in space here. Oh, God. Closed me down quickly. Still got it, though. Draxler. Out for Bellerin. Going to cross this one in. Oh, it's too heavy. That cross was way too powerful. It's my bad. Still got it, though. Over here to Awa. In for Gnabry. Turn for Aubameyang. No! Not Mendy. We'll get it in the box anyway. Go on! Oh, honestly, the passing in this game just feels so inconsistent sometimes. Mendy again here. Over here for Torreira. To Draxler. Oh, just about to get a shot away. Come on, Dembele. Nice. Inside again. That's a foul. We'll play on, though. Oh, come on, ref. Play on. God, it's so delayed sometimes. Pass that one through for Kimpembe. I don't know what he's doing up here. We're going to have to cross this. It's a good ball for Gnabry. Oh, and no one's outside of the box to pick up the loose ball. Hitting them on the break here. I'm going to put this over the top for Gnabry. Dembele's made a great run, but he's offside right now. I can't really do anything about it. Awar's in the box now. I've got no support near me, though. I'm just going to have to run across here with Gnabry. Over here to Torreira. Over to Bellerin now. Back for Awar, maybe. Hit it. Oh, it was Torreira. If Awar was there, I reckon I might have got a shot on target. He's just so lethal from that kind of range. Right before half time, though. Corner comes in. It's a good delivery. And again, no one there to pick up the loose ball. So annoying. What a tackle by Mukiele, though. Come on, we've still got a chance here. Through for Aubameyang. Nope, it's going to go for Dembele instead. And the keeper gets it. And I fouled him. I slid in and kicked him in the chest there. But he's not going to get a yellow, I don't think. Well, that's the end of the first half, then. Here's Defoe now for Bournemouth. They've had a very good start to this second half. Don't know what he's trying to do here. He's gone for the cross. Kimpembe deals with it. Go on, Aubameyang. Has he got that? Yes, Awa, nicely done. Right, now we hit them on the break. Dembele over the top, maybe. It's not a great pass. Oh, and the chance again is gone. Go on, put it through. Yes, that's what we needed. Dembele behind the defence. Come on. Keep going. You have to cut back because the defender's really quick. Pass it back. And again, is Awa going to hit this? Oh, and Begovic, big save. 20 minutes left on the clock. Oh, he's got the cross in. Just about got there with uh, Kimpembe. Now we go with Torreira. Is this the chance that we need? Come on. Keep running. I see Bellerin out on the right. What a ball that is from Torreira. Go back post now. Head it in. Finish it. Yes! <laughs> there
there it is. Alwar is the hero today. Please be the winning goal. I've been absolutely destroyed in this second half by Bournemouth. But what counts? Goals. Goals count. And we've scored one. Lovely assist from Gnabry there. That original pass, though, to pick out Bellerin from Torreira was world class. Last few minutes here, guys. Xhaka coming on to give me a little bit more height as we've got a free kick to defend here. Please be crap. Yes, come on, get rid of that. Yes, right, I think that should be it now. Unless, oh no. Got a bad feeling about this. Ooh, we get away with it. Just hoof it. That should be three points. Don't care if we've lost it there. That should be it. Blow the whistle, ref. What are you doing? The ball was in freaking middle of the pitch. Don't you even think about scoring now. I think we've got away with it. Ref, blow the whistle. We're five minutes in. What is wrong with the referees in this game, honestly? Oh, okay, three points. I will take that gladly because it was not a good performance. Bournemouth were very unlucky not to win that. So I've started a new second team from this season. So this is the first team that I'm using at the moment. This is the second team, which blows my mind. We've got players like Lacazette, Xhaka, Mustafi in there. So uh, it's going to be a Wobi on the left with Lacazette up top, Nelson on the right, Gwenduzi, Xhaka, Maitland-Niles in midfield, Mendy, Mustafi, Mukiele, Viza, and Leno. There's one thing wrong with this, though. We're going to change the captain to Granite Xhaka. I think that makes a little bit more sense than Mustafi. So that is going to be the team that we use in games like our next one which is Birmingham away from home in the Carabao Cup. So we're going to go ahead and simulate the Carabao Cup, of course. It's still a very strong team, and I would be expecting us to at least get later into the tournament. Um, or we could just go out in the first round again. I swear this is just... It's completely rigged. This happened last season, the very first game. Are you telling me that my team isn't better than Birmingham's team there? Now, I know it's it's not always down to the team. It's obviously down to how you play on the day. But come on, this is FIFA. It's a simulation. My chances should be so much higher. And we picked up an injury, which is six weeks to Mendy. Absolutely typical. And Ospina, not very happy. Oh, I should have put him in the team. He should be my second team goalkeeper. Well, that's rather frustrating. And now we go into a game against Leicester, who, funnily enough, have started off very well. 16 points out of 18 possible. Top of the league by four points. We really should be winning this game if we want to stay right up there at the top of the table. Because as of right now, Spurs, Palace, Liverpool, Burnley, all very close to us. But Leicester somehow have started to pull away. I'll tell you what, that's a player I wouldn't mind signing at some point. Ndidi at Leicester, one of my favourites. Absolutely brilliant. They've gone with Vardy up top. They've got Okazaki, Zobnin. Interesting signing there. I mean, Leicester, they're top for a reason, clearly in some good form at the moment, but I think we all know they will not be there at the end of the season. They might be in that top six area. I'll take that, thank you very much. But of course, give it straight back. But I think, oh, oh wow, that was close. I think it really is just down to a little bit of pot luck at the start of the season. It depends on your fixtures, you know, how easy they are at the start of the season, for example. Maybe Leicester have had a bit of an easier run in than some of the other teams, but that ends today. We're going to be... Hopefully giving them their first loss. That was, again, very close. We've got a corner now. Try and get this near post. That's a good ball in. Oh, he just got crowded out. Here's Dembele. You know what's coming here. Go on. Go on. Yeah. I'm dreaming, aren't I, there? Let's go again. Go on, Dembele. He's got the pace, surely. Just unleash him. Here he goes. Surely he's going to finish this one. Oh, of course he is. Of course he's going to finish that. Dembele with his second goal for the club. Not as good as his first one. I think it was against Fulham, wasn't it? Where he just smashed it in outside the box. Well, I tried to do that a minute ago. But this time we've gone a little bit closer. He got a chance to show off his insane speed there. Look at him go. Just pulling away. I mean, let's be fair though. Leicester don't have the, the quickest centre-backs. But still, poor defending to let him through like that. But what a finish. Yes, Kim Pembe. No. No. I'm sorry. How is that a foul? Someone explain to me how that is a foul. No way. I'm getting on the line. I don't care how cheesy it is. Although Torreira is five foot five or something. Oh my god. Actually hit the bar. <laughs> I don't think I helped that situation whatsoever by putting Torreira on the line. Maybe someone a little bit taller would have helped. But here's Awar now. Going to play down this left side for Kalasinac. 
Gnabry could be in if I pass it. No, it was such a bad pass. Oh, let's just get in the second half. Here's Ndidi. Over to Zobnin. Get a tackle in. Yes, Torreira. He took too long there, didn't he? And guess what? The pace of Dembele will be shown again. Here we go. Oh, okay. Apparently Maguire's just as quick as him. What the hell is that? What have I just done? Just under 15 minutes to go here. Trying to find this second goal. Dembele plays it over the top for Bellerin here. Going to go for the back post cross for Gnabry. Oh, it was a brilliant cross from Bellerin. Leicester just brought on Balotelli. Why is he not starting in a game like this? I don't really get that. But Bellerin is through here. He's going to keep this one in. Kind of want to pass it inside to Dembele. Here he is. Good first touch. Still got it. Still going. No. And DD clears up. And that is going to be a clearance. And it means the chance is probably gone here. Just don't want Balotelli running at my defence with fresh legs, pace, power. He's got everything. And here they come. And DD now. Over to Matias. Back inside for Zobnin. Out on the right for Pereira. They're playing it around nicely here. Cross comes in. Should be able to clear that. Yes, Bellerin. Beautiful. And that is two minutes played, ref. Quit doing this. Why is he still... Why, why is the whistle? There we go. Not the most convincing win, but that concludes today's episode unbeaten. I'm not too, not too unhappy with that. Really wish we could have done better in the Champions League game. But after all, we haven't lost today. We've got two clean sheets, but we've only managed to score three goals in three games, which is a little bit worrying. Anyway, that does mean we go within two points of uh, Leicester in the Premier League. And our next game is going to be Dortmund. They beat Shakhtar Donetsk in their first game. We'll go ahead and do some training here, although Mendy's picked up an injury, so we cannot train him. Uh, I was thinking maybe throwing Nketia in, but I'm going to go with Maitland-Niles instead, try and catch him up a little bit to Gwenduzi. So we're going to go ahead and do his defending. He does defend a lot when he plays in my lineup. And then we're going to go with his passing, I think. We'll go... Actually, no, maybe his shooting. We'll go with, like, long shots. Or actually, that that could be good. He can improve his dribbling a little bit more as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Mukiele is 80 rated now, of course. Getting closer to 81. Make the Niles almost 77. But that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with the Dortmund game. And by the way, you, you'll notice, obviously, I haven't had face cam in this episode. Just every now and again, I think... It was quite nice recording without face cam when I had issues with my, my webcam. It means I'd have to have all my studio lights on and sometimes I might just do it. It's quite nice every now and again to take a break from looking at the camera. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much. You don't have to look at my ugly face for a little bit. Um, but I'll just I'll have it back on for most episodes. Don't worry. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe as well and turn on notifications. And I will see you in the next episode to continue our journey in the Champions League.